Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. All right, let's get started. Some GI wear in brief? I guess that could be camo for camouflage. Guitar accessory. Hmm. A guitar accessory? It's not a pick? Hmm, could this be something that starts with a P? End of a blessing? No, that's amen, right? Hmm. I can't think of another guitar accessory. Slight? A slight could be an insult. It could also be a little bit of something. Hmm. Impulsively. On... Instinct, I would want that to be. I would want it to be on something at least. What's this cross here? Dish that may be eaten with either chopsticks or a spoon? Yeah, that could be ramen. That was my go to dish this winter to stay warm. App name for a thief? <laughs> I guess that would be Rob. That's pretty funny. Hmm. Boy, yeah, I really don't know anything about music. I'm sure this is very obvious to most of you. Man. Completely exhausted? I guess that could be bone tired. That's a nice phrase there. I like that a lot. And then I wonder if this is going to be something to do with the theme here. This bone, maybe? Jeez, I still don't know what this is. Slight. Maybe mirror? Like the merest mention, the slightest mention of something. The Barber of Seville is an opera. What's a capo? I've never heard of that before. I have no idea what this is. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Impulsively on a something. Ages and ages. Oh, maybe it's not bone tired. Hmm, because I would want this to be like Eon or something. Hmm. Congressional hearing error? That should be C-SPAN, shouldn't it? Yeah, let's take out tired. We'll put in C-SPAN. Bay? This is another uh, pet name, right? So maybe Hun could be quite as current of a pet name as Bay is. Yeah, and then this can be Eon. And then, what is this, Bone Weary? I haven't heard of that. I've only heard of Bone Tired, I think. But I guess that could be a plausible phrase there. Maybe this could be On a Whim? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so maybe it is Weary. King quoted as saying, how sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have a thankless child. Uh, yeah, that's King Lear, I think, right? From Shakespeare. Barton of the Red Cross. That's Clara Barton. Yeah, I think she founded the Red Cross. What may raise a big stink? And this is wordplay. Hmm. Would it be... I would want it to be skunk, but I guess that's not what... That's going to be raise a big stink. Oh, maybe it's sewer. Yeah, it is a literal stink of some kind, but not from a skunk. It's from a sewer. Medicare section. Oh, um, well, that's going to be part something. There's like a million parts to Medicare, so I don't know what it's going to be. I think it's it could be like A, B, C, D. I don't know. It probably goes up to like F. There's so many of them. Shady alcoves. Maybe that could be arbors? Yeah, like shady as in um, like under trees. Yeah. Financial guru Susie. That's Susie Orman. Yeah, she's a very <laughs> severe financial guru. Kind of clef preceding notes usually played with the right hand on a piano. That's the right hand is the treble clef, yeah. Yeah, my piano teacher would be proud of me. Took 
a few years of piano back in my younger years. Blank Cinemas Theater Chain. That could be Regal Cinemas. Hopefully we'll be able to go back to the cinemas someday soon here. Observe Yom Kippur. Um, hmm. I'm not... I know Yom Kippur is a Jewish holiday, but I don't really know what it's about. I wonder if this could be Atone. Maybe it's a holiday of atonement. Let's see if that guess is correct here. Brother. No, that should be... Well, actually, I'm not sure what that's going to be. Hmm. Allowed to could be let. Before now could be a go, I think. Let's take a look at this long down now that we have some of it filled in here. Attention grabbing. Glam? Hmm. Boy, we don't... We don't really have any indication of what the theme is yet, do we? Brother. I don't think it, it couldn't be like bro. That's too much like brother. Hmm. I wonder if this is brother as in like a religious brother, like in a monastery or something. Hmm. One extending a library book loan. That could be a renewer, right? Because you renew your loan if you want to keep your book out longer. This clue has one, apparently. I guess to use would be a typo. Yeah. Objects, or maybe objects. Um, but I think it's going to be objects because I think it says no. What the giant Argus has a hundred of in Greek myth. I think he had a hundred eyes, right? Yeah, he was like the guardian of someone, I think. I forget exactly what story he was in. One named rapper with the 2015 number one album, the album about nothing. Oh, that's kind of meta, isn't it? Um, hmm, I don't know enough about music to know this, though. Disney queen who sings in an ice palace. Yeah, that's Elsa based on the Snow Queen, right? The Hans Christian Andersen story. Burn, that could be sear maybe, like if you're cooking something. Smart Society, I guess that's Mensa, the Brainiac Society. Kind of sauce, kind of sauce, oh man. Tartar sauce maybe, that would fit there. So what is this? Flamboyant. There we go. Okay. Attention grabbing. So it is fra. I think this is like a religious thing. I'm not sure what this is. Is this like Franciscan brother maybe? And then this would be flamboyant. I guess this is whale. I've never heard of this rapper before. Unsurprisingly, I guess. Actress Jessica. That's Jessica Alba. One round at a tournament? Hmm. It's not like seeds, I don't think. One round. Hmm. I wonder if it's a specific tournament. What a good Samaritan offers? They always offer help, right? Cry before who goes there? I think that's usually halt. You ask someone to stop before you ask who they are. Expensive Italian car informally. Hmm. There's so many expensive Italian cars. Would it be a Ferrari? That should be Lambo. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that's funny. There's a typo in typo. All right, yeah, so that's a Lambo. And then I guess one round at a tournament could be the semis. That would be the penultimate round of a tournament. Director Kazan. Um, hmm, I wonder if I've seen this name before. It's not ringing any bells. Magnifier could be a lens. So that would make this Elia Kazan. Yeah, I don't know if I've heard of them. Tylenol Alternative. Um, maybe it could be Motrin. It's a kind of Advil. Or ibuprofen, I guess. Order at an ice cream parlor. 
Could that be a malt, maybe? Like a malt milkshake? Double reeded aerophone with keys. Uh, <laughs> aerophone, I've never seen that before. I guess they're probably talking about an oboe. I mean, oboes have keys and they're a reeded instrument. They're a woodwind, so I guess aerophone is some kind of alternate term for a woodwind instrument. Okay. Sub at the office could be a temp, like a temporary worker that would sub in for someone. Rich soil could be loam, yeah. President Garfield's middle name, that's Abram. He was just on the puzzle a couple days ago too. Interesting. Spring recreation. And this is wordplay. Hmm. I wonder what this is talking about. The straightforward reading of this would be like, I don't know, maybe like a recreation of a historical event or something. Maybe like Easter related. So it's not going to be that. Maybe it's recreation instead of recreation. Um... And that could be a trampoline, right? Because it's like on springs. Wow, that's a really fun piece of wordplay there. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Castle wall could be a rampart. Makes frescoes or murals. That should be paints. Trims. Hmm. I would want this to be borders or something. And we still don't have a theme, do we? Flamboyant trampoline? Hmm. Tramp? Lamb? Flom? I'm just looking at, like, I don't know, like a MBs, maybe? Th there's just, there's not much here that I can point to that I could think be, would be based on a theme. Hmm, this is very mysterious. One putting out feelers. That would be an insect, right? Using their little antennae. Those are called feelers sometimes, right? Yeah. Okay. Trims. Oh, adorns. Like you would trim a Christmas tree. Okay. Shoulder muscles for short could be delts, your deltoids. Supplements could be add to, possibly. Blank decimal system, that's the Dewey decimal system. If you've ever, ever been into a library, you would know that. Maybe if you're a serial renewer, you haven't been there enough to have learned about the Dewey decimal system. Um, bad thing to have on a record in brief would be a DWI, uh, driving while intoxicated. One followed by nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's a 10, one zero. And then Spanish attention getter, Oye. This is unusual. I don't think I've seen this on a puzzle before, which is kind of surprising. These are really good letters. They're all vowels. Interesting. Okay, I think that's all good. Um, send. Oh man, this could be a lot of things. Email. It could be a late also. It probably is a late. Usually when the clue is just send, it's about like sending someone into fits of like, happiness so i'm just gonna put in a late okay we get a revealer here i'm glad because i'm totally mis mystified by the theme on this puzzle so far with 61 across advice for an insomniac or what you can do 12 times in this puzzle reading across and down not including this answer um hmm Advice for an insomniac. Close your eyes. Hmm. What other advice would you give to an insomniac? Clear your mind. Hmm. I like clear your mind. That is actual advice I think people give to insomniacs. Could that be right? Clear... And then maybe there's like mind in a rebus or something. Hmm. Let's see if clear is right here. No, it's not. That's Mauna Loa Observatory, right? Shoot. Okay. Yeah, Mauna Loa is a volcano in Hawaii, right? So Mauna Loa. Hmm. 
Oh, sorry the puzzle's jumping around a little bit. I think that's just due to this um, answer being so long here. Buys? Hmm. Is it tatas? Those are kind of like casual goodbyes, right? Both bye and tata are goodbye. Blank mond, fashionable society. Hmm, I guess I'm not in fashionable society. I don't recognize this. Sicilian spewer is Mount Etna. We've got a very volcanic little section down here. Mauna Loa and Mount Etna here. Okay, um, it's not close your eyes either. Interesting. Stews. Is this about a stew that you would eat or is this about stewing in anger? Hmm. Cry upon arriving. We're here? Oh, no, I guess that's too short. Maybe it's we made it? Oh, that's too short too. Rats, okay. Hmm, well I do like the W here. Although, geez, I have no idea what this is gonna be. Let's try to work down. Golf hole starter could be a T maybe? Like you put the ball on the T to start every golf hole. I guess that makes sense. Actress who said, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. <laughs> That's a great quote. I, it's gotta be Mae West, right? She was good of aphorisms like that. Yeah. I don't know that for sure, but I would guess that it's probably Mae West. Start of a giant's chant. That's fee fi fo fum, right? From Jack and the Beanstalk. I smell the blood of an Englishman. So, stews. Hmm. Is it frets? Like you're worried about something? I think that makes sense. Um, so maybe this is here we are. There we go. And then this could be like hot mond, like hot couture, like high. Isn't mond earth? Wouldn't that be literally like high earth? I guess maybe that is just kind of a metaphor for fashionable society. Okay, so let's put the U in here. Oh, and this is count sheep, isn't it? Oh, that's great. That's really cute. Okay, so is there 12 different sheeps in the puzzle here? Oh, I was, you know what? I was almost kind of close here because I saw the lamb in Lambo. Yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't quite notice it here. I just noticed the MB, but yeah, there's a lamb in Flamboyant. And then do we have, an, oh, so there's, it's not just lambs though. It looks like we have ewes. Yeah. Rams, ramen is a ram, ram, you, lamb, another lamb here, another ram over here. Interesting. Well, I won't sit here and look for every, every sheep, but yeah, that's pretty cute. I like that. Here's another one in Dewey. Nice. And a renewer here. Very cool. Yeah. And here we are has another one. Okay. Comeback could be echo. Specialty? Hmm. Regretted. That could be rude. You like you rude the day you did something. Medium power? Medium as in like a uh, psychic maybe? A psychic medium could be extrasensory perception. Hues that rhyme with hues. I guess that would be a cruise. Kind of a beigey white shade, right? Ally in Super Mario games is Toad. Yeah, a little straggler from our Mario themed puzzle last week. All right, um, I guess this would be area for specialty. Nice, all right, let's see if that does it for us. Nice, Wednesday puzzle in under 20 minutes. That feels good, really good, yeah. Um, it's kind of, this is a cute theme, although I have to say, oh, I gotta stop clicking on that, sorry. Um, I gotta say, I, I'm not crazy about the like, themes that you just kind of get after, like you kind of fill in the whole grid and it's just a little interesting thing about the construction. I mean, it's it's a cool construction, I have to say, like fitting all these lambs in 
and use and rams and everything are pretty cool um but like as a solving experience it's not like my favorite but i still um because it's kind of cute sheep i gotta give it a couple of extra bonus points than i normally would um but yeah i'm gonna have to sit here after i sign off and find every last sheep in here all right well i hope you enjoyed counting sheep with me on this sleepy wednesday and yeah, I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee-themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. Sweet dreams. I'll see you next time.